Okay. Then the dirty water trough. dirty in condition so it's a good thing that we're doing this now morning almost afternoon part-time weekend ranchers out here again with the little ones we got a lot to, to do this week uh, we are actually off the kids are off for spring break and yes it's windy again as I'm sure you can hear back out here again hopefully for another week of doing work the first thing we're gonna do is unload a maple that we brought over from northern Virginia as we explained we uh, cleaned up all the maples before and one out of the 55 or 56 died so we we're gonna go ahead and replace it this was the smallest one that they had which is around 8 or 10 feet so we're gonna unstrap it right now put it on the tractor pick it up with the forks and then start just pre-position it so we can go ahead and plant it later on today or later on this week. quick strap on it I don't know how big it is but it probably weighs 200 pounds we're gonna go ahead and take it now across the field right past where the cattle chute is and gonna go lay it in place we made it to its new home As you can tell this was the only one that we lost it seems like it just dry rotted at the base and it just fell over so this is the only one that's the first one from coming down the road so we're gonna go ahead and plant it here at the second spot and then it is April 1st today April Fool's Day some of them are coming and sprouting pretty well this one still hasn't sprouted or it's just about to sprout you can see some little babies baby leaves and buds coming out but then you have this one over here which is doing extremely well and we're really hoping that they all look like this if not better all right there's a successful team with the tree behind them we went ahead and just pre-staged it we'll dig the hole probably by hand because i'm not moving the excavator all the way over here just for one hole but we uh went ahead and got it done I think we're gonna go ahead and take a break for lunch after lunch we still got the water troughs that we need to clean out make sure they're all good to go I got to replace some parts so we'll do that next 
Just take a little quick break, let the kids eat, because they keep on saying they're hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We got down with lunch. It's still super windy. Next project is going to go, and we're going to clean and service all three troughs. There's an outlet not too far away from the trough. There's a water shut off that supplies it. So I went ahead and took that off and shut it off. And now what we're going to do is there's a drain on one side. I think last time we did it manually, but now we know there's an actual drain. Plug, drain it out. So this is what it looks afterwards. We drained it completely out on both sides. I had a sponge and just cleaned everything out. It seems like the majority of the dirt that was in there was just silt from the water itself. There was some other stuff, some algae, but it's like the majority of it was silt. So it's been clean. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. I put a new diaphragm here. I'll show you that here in a little bit of how what I did and how that all works together. Uh, I know last year we had issues with uh, grit or sand getting in there and then just basically keeping it closed because it wouldn't let the diaphragm seat correctly. But this is the end result or close to the end result. I'll fill it back up, put the lid on, make sure that everything's good to go, make sure the water works and we're ready to go to the next one. This is the last water trough we're going to do today. side of the third water trough they all kind of looked as disgusting as this so it's a good thing that we're trying to clean them up you can actually some see some little earthworms in there and a bunch of grass and debris in there algae and such so it's a good thing that we clean it up I'll show you afterwards and then I'll show you the diaphragm on that plunger thing as well so this is like a little filter or air bubble just like in your toilet when it fills up it just pushes the ball up and then it stops water from going through it's very simple and what I've noticed all the black stuff that was on the bottom here is just sediment it's sediment from the water and it comes through there's this little diaphragm in there and sometimes sediment will go underneath or there and not allow it to seat right so it just constantly flows or trickles down like a running toilet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace all these seals and this diaphragm I'll leave that there and just replace the white part here which I have an entire kit I'm just gonna replace the white part with the gasket there's a diaphragm in there and try to do that once a year and see if it just prevents the trough from constantly leaking and ensuring that there's a good seal with the diaphragm in the water. Here's the end result. I got Stella holding that ball just to make sure it doesn't keep flowing. But way cleaner than what it was initially. 
you can still see there's a little bit of silt starting to build up and that's just from the water because it's well water and it's not filtered and uh we'll just have to clean it probably every six months just to make sure but way better than where we started so i'm sure the cows would be happy it's 5 30 day one of our uh, week-long spring break vacation or workation out here with the kids i sent them in a little earlier it's uh wind hasn't let up <clears throat> It's still a little cold it's in the 50s but with the windshield it makes it feel like it's in the 30s or so i think we're going to call it an early day today uh jen should be here in a little bit she had to work today so she's meeting us out here this afternoon probably go in go have some dinner warm up and then when she gets here we'll strategize for tomorrow but i think overall we did pretty good today got the maple all set up and ready to go so we can plant it take care of the three water troughs and then a couple of other things that fixed the um link on the loader uh, i think there'll be a part-time weekend reel for that but uh overall i think it was a good start for our uh, long week out here